That day started out to be a normal day. She was gonna go out golfing with her lady friends. When I get a call from her, what I thought was her, and then a, a different voice came on and says, your wife is down and the EMTs are here working on her. My clearest memory is the fact that I was signing for the green fees and then I blacked out. No warning sign, no dizziness. 911, what is your emergency? When I got that phone call that my mom had a, a brain bleed and she was intubated and going to Overlake, I first off didn't know Overlake did aneurysms and I was expecting, you know, to get a phone call that she was headed to my own hospital. It was terrifying. I ran to the doctors and said, is my mom on the pre-arrival list? Um, I had another staff member call to Overlake and find out her status and that she was getting surgery there. And, um, and I had one of my coworkers drive me down because I, I, couldn't, I couldn't manage to drive myself. I was just in tears. Knowing that majority of patients don't make it to the hospital with one aneurysm and she had two. So Marielle is a great example. Uh, she had her aneurysm rupture on the east side. Uh, traditionally, she had been shipped to downtown Seattle to have it taken care of. And you can imagine the amount of time lost in just traveling from Snoqualmie to downtown Seattle where she could have been taken care of. And that time is precious. Every minute or second that goes by is an opportunity to have a stroke and more brain cells lost. found my dad at the waiting room and um, I saw him and he said, well, mom was able to squeeze my hand before she went in for surgery. And I knew that, you know, if she was able to do that, then at least she had some higher brain function that she was able to squeeze his hand. And I was happy for that. It was terrifying seeing my mom with a breathing tube. It made her look like a totally different person. She was sick, she, she was laying there. I was scared she wasn't gonna be my mom again. The first thing that goes through my mind is we have to fix the aneurysm because we don't want it to bleed again because that's almost 100% fatal if it bleeds again. The hard part is the healthy blood vessels, they don't like the blood and they start spasming. When that happens, you can get strokes. And that doesn't happen until at least three days after the bleeding and can last for up to three weeks. So there's a lot of uncertainty that's there at the beginning that we have to calm the family down, prepare them for the worst, but also prevent the worst from happening at the same time. Dr. Chowdhury is a really great guy. When I found out who was doing my mom's brain surgery, I talked to my nurse manager and she actually said, if it was my mom, I would want him to take care of her as well. So I felt comfortable, you know, leaving my mom in his hands. Oh my gosh, uh, I can't, I can't imagine uh, not having Overlake here. I don't know, I'm just one lucky guy. You know, you know, she's one lucky gal. I haven't been in this hospital since my children were born, but I'm sure glad it's here when I needed it. I don't know what would have happened to my mom if this would have happened 10 years ago. I'm so thankful that she can be there today and that she's actually talking and functioning and, you know, my mom again. Whether it's stroke, epilepsy, brain tumor, spine issues, we want to be able to provide that same world-class care that we've been providing for years at Overlake to our community. I think it's always important to remember when you see your doctor that there's a whole team around them. That team is made of many, many parts, more parts than you will ever see. And we need the team. You know, that's what we need to be successful and to provide the best care that we can. I wanted to thank everyone that took care of my mom from the EMS crew to the emergency room, all the nurses and the doctors, to Dr. Chowdhury and all the tech support, and all the nurses that took care of my mom on the floor. You guys mattered and you saved my mom's life. She is living because of you. 
and that it means so much to me and my family that my mom is around today because of you.